What is up guys, welcome back. And we are doing another deck review for um, a deck I've, I'm excited for. It's very quick, I know, but we are going to be uh, reviewing the Avocados. Um, this is the next release deck from OPC Playing Card Company. Um, and it came out pretty quick. I, I feel like I just put up Squeezers V3, um, but I was able to get my hands on the Avocados and we're gonna sit down and take a look at exactly what you get with the half brick box, what it looks like, all the goodies that come with it, and then take a good look at this deck. So let's get right into the unboxing of Avocados by Organic Playing Card Company. Alrighty guys, let's get right into the unboxing. So. I'm not going to hold Gambler's Warehouse accountable for this because it wasn't honestly their fault, but the United States Postal Service thought it'd be great to shove this box into my small little mailbox I have here. So I had to really like yank this out of there and it was got all tore up here. I'm hoping the brick box is safe and the cards are safe, but let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, okay, cool. Well, awesome. They're inside of a cardboard box. Okay, so not that concerned anymore. Um, let's go ahead and get this open here. I'm very excited to see these and uh, see what the packaging is like. All righty, let's, here we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, it's actually, the, the brick is smaller than I expected. Um, go ahead and open this up. Oh, wow, look at that. That is, so um, this happened with the uh, Peelers V3s. You got a keychain with the Peelers V3, so with this one you get an avocado keychain. This was thrown in for free, so that's pretty cool. I'll add that to my um, now growing collection of OPC keychains. Um, of course, the sticker to go with the passport. Whoa. Um, yeah, so this is my third passport now. I'll be placing that in, um, in with my uh, other passport that actually has my current stickers in it. Place that to the side and now here is the brick box. So it's um, the outside. It's not, um, it, it, oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. Um, I was about to say like, this reminds me, this is, ex this is fairly um, close to what a real box of uh, avocados comes in. A case of avocados comes in. It's, that's really neat. It's got the nice cardboard finish. The front says avocados, uh, finest, freshest organic cards. 100% recyclable material. You have the front here that's got like a, um, a little uh, storefront to it. And then the back says the same thing. The side has a QR code right there. Uh, it says six decks. And this other side is the same thing. Pretty sure this probably takes you to the um, OPC um, website, but uh, I'll scan it later and put in the description what that actually does. So let's go inside the box here. Oh, neat. Okay. So I was very curious if they were gonna be packaged. Okay, cool. I was very curious if they were going to be packaged two together and you were gonna have to unwrap, um, unwrap one. Or un you were gonna have to unwrap two decks to get to them, but I'm very glad. Um, very happy that uh, they were packaged singly like that. Um, so we got six decks in the half brick. Cool. Um, I'm gonna go. Ahead. Oh, and the other thing that the uh, half brick does, excuse me, is you can fold this up, and it becomes like a little display case for your. Uh, <laughs> becomes a little display box for your uh, avocados. Okay. So I'm gonna take out two. I'm not gonna open both of them, but I'm going to show you. I'm gonna place this to the side here. So if you don't know, which, but if you don't know, which um, there's could be some of you don't, um, this pit is embossed and where this side where the pit should go 
is uh, debossed, debossed, debossed. So when you put these together, they kind of fit. The pit kind of fits in there. I'm sure I have it wrapped in plastic, so it's not perfect. But if I had them both unwrapped, it would fit pretty good. So it's like you're twisting and opening an avocado. I think that's pretty clever. Um, however, this makes me curious about um, resellers. Like, which is this one worth less than this one because it doesn't have the pit on it? Do they have the same values? Um, so that's, that's interesting to me. So I wonder how... Um, how these are going to be marketed by resellers since it's essentially two different cases. Um, so I'm going to open up the one that's got the pit on it. I'll set this aside. The rest of the de uh, tuck is uh, essentially the same. You have this nice, oh, you got a little bit of damage here. But it's, it's not too bad. But anyway, you have um, some... PLU stickers on the back. The tuck, I'm gonna go, let me get it out of the plastic so we can look at it better. It's gonna be a long review because I included an unboxing. Go figure. Uh, there we go. Throw that to the side. So we did have a little bit of, little bit of a crease here. It's not too bad, but, um, oh wow, it feels, it's very smooth. It's made out of like a, uh, it's, it doesn't have the gloss finish on it that it, that usual OPC decks have. Um, so you have a PLU sticker, it says 3000 on it. I'm very curious what that's going to bring up. And then uh, OPC number 3000, uh, grown in USA, freshly printed cards. Pretty cool. The side says nothing. The other side says nothing. The top says nothing. It's got the avocado skin. Um, print on it. That's very neat. And then the bottom says, has all your ad copy, it says 2020 first edition, one of 3,000. So um, possibility of uh, second editions coming out. Designed by Organic Playing Cards, distributed by Riffle Shuffle Playing Cards Company, uh, Dallas, Texas, made in USA. And then you got some of that, so pretty cool. Um, like I said, this is embossed here, so you can you can run your finger over it and feel it. And then you have avocados, which has uh, got this nice color. Looks just like a like a half of an avocado. That's very cool. Very clever idea here. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. You have on the inside. This is um, a gloss finish, and then uh, has all their um, social media follow stuff on it. Let's go ahead and take these out. The inside of the box is all green. Doesn't look like anything else is going on in there. So pretty cool. Alrighty. So here we are. We have the Joker. Oh wow, they feel good. So we have the <laughs> I kind of like kind of zoned out there for a second. Uh, we have the two Jokers, which oh look at that. <laughs> of course, uh, one has a pit, the other one doesn't. Um, the one that doesn't have a pit, this actually has a reveal in it. It says 9C for Nine of Clubs. So I guess you could do a nice little, um, you know, color change uh, with this to make the reveal happen. Uh, I guess like an Erdness change would work. And then you would show like Nine of Clubs. Um, so yeah, you get a nice reveal here. And a half of an avocado. And then we have the Ace of Spades, which has some guacamole. Oh, that's pretty clever. So it's a bowl of guacamole in the shape of a, of a spade with a tortilla chip um, that has already dipped into the guacamole. That is pretty cool. I like that. And then um, I can already tell, I don't know if this will be picked up on camera, but this is not black. This is the very dark um, green of an avocado. I don't know if it looks like it's picking it up a little bit. Yeah. Looks like it's picking it up a little bit, um, but it is like the dark green of uh, the avocado skin, which is very cool. So we'll go through. We have the first set of quartz. Um, this Jack has a PLU sticker right on, his, on the tip of his finger. We have the Queen of Spades holding some avocado toast. And then we have the King of Spades with a crate of avocados. 
Now we get onto the diamonds, which are like a light, it's almost like a, gives me the feeling of like a, um, of an orange, but it's like a shade of red. Could be, it kind of, also kind of reminds me of like a tomato, but um, you can see that it's a very lighter shade of red going on here. Um, and then we get onto the Jack of Diamonds, which has a avocado in his hand. The Queen of Diamonds, which, uh, who has a plate of sliced avocados. We have the uh, King of Diamonds with a sack of avocados. And then we, and then we get on, oh, that's, that's good. The King of Clubs with a pit right on his uh, blade there. So um, the Queen of Clubs with an avocado plant in her hands. And then we have Jack of Clubs. He's got a, a um, bottle of avocado oil. And we go into the clubs. Okay. And then um, the King of Hearts, which would be the Suicide King usually. He's actually wielding a spoon and an avocado in his hand. And then we have the Queen of Hearts with a bowl of guac. And then we have the Jack of Hearts, who is um, eating a, a piece of sushi roll, which um, a California roll is usually made with uh, some avocado in it. Uh, most, uh, uh, the basic sushi rolls have avocado in it, so it makes sense. And then we've got the hearts. We get to the duplicate nine of spades. And then a double backer, except this double backer is a little different. Um, which is slightly disappointing. Uh, you have one side which is matches the back and then the other side where the pit is, uh, it's, it's been pitted on one side. Um, so I guess it's just to allow like, you have the two uh, avocado halves with pits in them and then you could do some sort of a, of a change where you would like, um, well, that was, I butchered that. You would do some kind of a change where you could like act like you're moving the pit out or you've scooped the pit out. So leaves room for imagination to create some uh, sort of a cool magic effect. So now we're gonna come over here, take a look at the back design. So the back design is this nice um, orange, which I think kind of, I think that matches the, uh, of course, I think that sort of, I think that's the same shade of orange as the, what I thought was red. This one's, it could just be my eyes, but it looks like it might be slightly darker. But um, if it is this, uh, if it is the same as this color, which, eh, I think it is. So it, it is kind of like an orange. Um, I'm not too sure where the theme of the solid orange background is from when you think of an avocado. Um, so I'm, a, Slightly confused on that. I can't give any kind of real input on like why they chose the color orange. But then again, it's like when you looked at the um, the squeezers, it's just a color. It might not have anything to do with the uh, fruit slash vegetable that is on here. Um, and what I mean by that is because if you look at the squeezers V2s, uh, that was a lemon with a blue background. So it just could just be a color. It goes great with the uh, avocado um art on the back. It is a two-way design, which it always expected. And I mean, the avocado has that OPC remnant, uh, OPC theme, excuse me. So I like it, um, to be honest. I would say it's, it is a different route, you know, cause we're used to, um, you know, snackers and carvers, slicers, squeezers. This is avocados. And it's still th sticking to that fruit and vegetable theme, but at the same time, I feel like this is the start of a new sort of direction that they're they're going to try to go in. At least with this deck, I'm not saying the next one is going to be you know something like it might be a tomato or something. But um, overall, I'm I'm happy that it's stuck with the the general OPC layout, and we're looking at some avocados here. Let's see how it handles on that nice crushed stock it feels like. Ooh, I'm never disappointed with OPC uh, decks and the way they handle. They always feel great. 
Oh boy. Well, on that note, because I just butchered the spring, we're gonna go into some closing notes and I'll talk a little bit more about how they handle. I just need to go pick the avocados up off the floor real quick. So let's get into some closing notes and handling. Alrighty guys. So I picked up all the cards off the floor, put them back in the box. But um, this is a very solid deck. Once again, organic playing card company. I can never, uh, they can never go wrong with the quality of their decks. It came out very good. Um, looks great, feels great, fans great. And um, I think they did a, a fine job on this. You can, um, like, like my past OPC reviews have gone, they're completely sold out. Um, they have already started popping up on um, eBay and, you know, some folks are selling them on Instagram, but of course they are jacked up a lot. Um, not as bad as I thought they would be. I think the half brick is what's popping up on eBay right now for about 80 bucks. Uh, so it's pretty much double in price, but uh, just wait it out a little bit. I'm sure they'll start popping up, I think, a little bit on some of the um, independent card shops out there, and you might be able to get them for 20 or 25 is what I'm feeling like. I don't think anyone will probably go below that, but it is a very, very good deck. Definitely wasn't it. I mean, it was expected because it was announced in their newsletter, but I mean, for it to be so soon after the Squeezers V3, I feel like we haven't even gotten to breathe uh, after the squeezers came out and then this one just dropped out of nowhere. I'm hoping, I, I honestly would be happy if we don't have another release until, you know, the beginning of next year from OPC, just to kind of let us, you know, focus on the avocados and the squeezers and, uh, play around with them a lot. But overall, they did a great job on this deck. Once again, I'm very happy to add this to my collection and, um, and show it off to you guys. It got here pretty quick too. I just ordered these a couple of days ago when they uh, when they dropped and they got here just very quick. But then again, I live very close to Gambler's Warehouse so that might have something to do with it. But I've noticed other people got theirs pretty quick as well. Um, so yeah, definitely a great deck. Handles great, looks great. And uh, that is the Avocados by Organic Playing Card Company. I'll put their links to their social medias down below, like always, as well as links to my personal Instagram where you can follow some of the stuff I've been working on. Um, also, I post, you know, pics of random decks from my collection to show off. And I'm always there if you guys want to talk cards or magic. Um, feel free to hit me up and I will catch you guys in the next video. Oh! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well. Now I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>